Good evening. Thanks for being here. A young man who was nearly killed during an attack on Gabriola Island last week has regained consciousness after being put in a medically induced coma for nearly a week. 18-year-old Trevor Schwartz's mother, Elaine, was murdered in the same attack last Wednesday night. Now the only family that Trevor has left is his 24-year-old sister, Amy. She's been at his side day and night since police knocked on the door with news that her mother was dead and her brother was clinging to life. A News reporter Andrew Johnson has the story. As she clings to support from close friends outside Victoria General Hospital, Amy Schwartz is finally getting some good news. Her brother Trevor is waking up. Uh, now breathing on his own, he's woken up. Um, he can see us and recognizes all of us. We can get him to squeeze our hand, wiggle his toes, all that kind of stuff. So it's looking pretty good except for the MRI shows a lot of damage in his brain because his brain was without oxygen for quite a long time. They don't know how long. She says Trevor was found last Wednesday with a stab wound to his chest and his heart had stopped beating. He was actually dead when they found him. Uh, they don't know how long he was dead for. So they brought him back and he's, they brought him here. The 18-year-old hasn't been told about what happened to his mom, 50-year-old Elaine Schwartz, who was found dead not far from where he was critically wounded. 37-year-old Jason Kramer has been arrested and charged with second-degree murder and attempted murder. Elaine's daughter describes Kramer as a family friend who was on good terms with Elaine and who seemed harmless. He just seemed like a normal, kind of a Gabriola kind of guy, a bit eccentric, but normal, nice fellow. But off camera, family friends did reveal Kramer making strange statements a month ago about how the Schwartz family was about to be on the news, become famous. He was saying some weird things, yeah. But Amy Schwartz prefers to talk about her brother's recovery. She admits she's still in shock, but missing her mom. Made dinner every night, like did the laundry for us, like she took really good care of us and loved us and told us so every day. So that's really hurtful that she's not gonna be able to do that. When he was found, he was calling for her. So that really hurts me a lot. I'm more hurt than anything that my son will grow up without his grandmother and my brother still really needed her. Now Schwartz and her friends are looking for your help to stay in Victoria by Trevor's side. A four-night hotel stay from victim services has come and gone and after two nights crashing in the waiting room at VGH, they say they've been asked to find somewhere else to sleep. I'm the closest thing to a brother he has and I just, I, I can't, I feel uncomfortable away from him and uh, that's, that's why I feel the need to stay in Victoria. I want to stay as close as I possibly can to my brother, but I need sleep. If you can help, please call our newsroom at 250-414-6510. There has also been a trust fund set up for Trevor and Amy Schwartz at the Gabriola Island Coastal Community Credit Union. You can reach the credit union at 250-247-8521. In View Royal, Andrew Johnson, A News.